Hello and welcome to section 5.1 on the area between curves. In this section, we focus on the integral as the representation of the area under a curve. Recall that an integral represents the net area under a curve. We allow for rectangles in the Riemann sum whose height is negative when the function dips below the x-axis. In this section, we will be interested in the total area between curves. That is, we will not allow negative heights in the rectangles of the Riemann sum. How do we accomplish this? Well, we use absolute values, of course. We begin by finding the area between two curves, f and g, on the interval a, b. Let's assume that both f and g are continuous on the interval a, b, and that f is greater than g on this interval. We are interested in calculating the area of the shaded region, so we begin by considering an approximation of the area by rectangles. We divide the interval a, b into subintervals of length delta x. Using the right endpoints of the subintervals, the rectangle fit between the curves will have height f minus g. Since f is larger than g, we know that f minus g is positive. Notice that subtracting g from the inequality yields f minus g is greater than or equal to zero. We approximate the area with the sum of f minus g times delta x, that is, the height times the base of each rectangle. And we obtain the actual area of the shaded region by taking the limit as n approaches infinity. To summarize, when a function is above another function on an interval a, b, the area is computed from the integral of the top function minus the bottom function. Let's find the area contained between the curves x squared and negative x squared on the interval 1 to negative 1. The function x squared is always positive, while the function negative x squared is always negative. Therefore, x squared is always above negative x squared. To find the area of the shaded region, we take the integral from negative 1 to 1 of x squared, the top function, minus negative x squared, the bottom function. Since 2x squared is continuous, we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2, taking the difference of the antiderivative 2 thirds x cubed at 1 and negative 1. We find that the area of the shaded region is 4 thirds units squared. In general, it may not be clear which function lies above and which lies below. So to ensure that an integral represents the total area between the curves, we integrate using the absolute value of the difference. If f is above g, then f minus g is positive. So the absolute value of f minus g is f minus g. If f is below g, then f minus g is negative, and the absolute value of f minus g is g minus f. That is, we always obtain the top function minus the bottom function. The trick to solving a definite integral involving an absolute value is to determine the points at which one function goes from top to bottom. Let's find the area enclosed by the curves x and x cubed. The enclosed area is the area completely enclosed by the curves. It may appear that the red areas are enclosed by the curves, but the curves never meet again, so the red areas are not completely enclosed. To determine the bounds of the shaded regions, we must determine the values for which the curves intersect. Setting x cubed equal to x and solving for x, we subtract and factor completely to find x equals negative 1, 0, and 1. The area of the shaded region is found by taking the absolute value of the difference of the two functions, x cubed and x, on the interval from negative 1 to 1. The absolute value of x cubed minus x can be written piecewise as x cubed minus x on the interval from negative 1 to 0, and x minus x cubed on the interval from 0 to 1. That is because x cubed is above x on the interval negative 1 to 0, while x is above x cubed on the interval 0 to 1. We split the integral's bounds at 0 and rewrite the absolute value on the interval from negative 1 to 0 as x cubed minus x, and from 0 to 1 as x minus x cubed. Both functions are polynomials, so they're continuous, and we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2 to solve the integrals by taking the difference of the antiderivative on the endpoints. And we find that the shaded area is 1 half unit squared. Many regions enclosed by curves are not easily viewed in terms of top function and bottom function. In this situation, 
on the interval from 0 to 1, the blue curve is both top and bottom function. This is because the blue curve is not a function with respect to x. It fails the vertical line test. However, it is a function with respect to y. It passes the horizontal line test. We will view the blue curve as a function x equals gy and the orange curve as a function x equals f of y. We are letting y be independent and x be dependent. We can find the area of the enclosed region by subdividing the domain, that is, the y-axis between negative 1 and 2, into subintervals delta y. We create rectangles with base delta y and height f minus g to approximate the area of the region. Why the height f minus g? Well, we want the total area so we must have a positive height. Notice that our height is an x measurement, and as one moves from left to right along the x-axis, the values become positive. Therefore, we are taking the more positive function, the rightmost function, and subtracting the more negative function, the leftmost function. We approximate the area with the sum of the rectangular areas. Taking the limit of this approximation as n approaches infinity, we attain the actual area of the region. To find the area enclosed within curves that can be viewed as a function of y, take the integral of the right function minus the left function with respect to dy. The graph depicts x equals y squared as the blue function and x equals y plus 2 as the orange function. Both are with respect to y. The curves intersect at the y values 2 and negative 1, and the rightmost function is orange, while the leftmost function is blue. Therefore, the area can be found using the integral from negative 1 to 2 of the right function, y plus 2, minus the left function, y squared, taking the integral with respect to y. To summarize, the total area between curves is found by taking the integral of the absolute value of their difference. If the curves can be viewed as functions with respect to x, we integrate the top minus the bottom function. If the curves can be viewed as functions with respect to y, we integrate the right minus the left function.